Pro Football was back this Sunday. Bruce is here with all the details. Bruce. And a lot of emotion. For NFL teams, it was back to business today. And for the Jets, it was a chance to play in honor of the fallen. Joe Andruzzi of the Patriots was joined by his three brothers from Staten Island, all New York firefighters for the ceremonial coin toss. Curtis Martin, three win, giving Herman Edwards his first victory. This game ball is presented to the city of New York, uh, to all those people that have, have, uh, have uh, you know, worked and, and tried to save people's lives. Uh, I think uh, it's only fitting that this ball goes to them. The Giants, who have been busy helping relief efforts in lower Manhattan, took on the Chiefs. Before the game, there was an emotional moment of silence in Kansas City. At the twilight's last gleaming. And an inspirational rendition of the national anthem. Leading 3 0, the Giants defense came up with a huge play. Sean Williams stopping a Chiefs drive by intercepting a Trent Green pass in the end zone. The Big Blue offense responded in style, going 80 yards in nine plays. Ron Dane scoring on a seven yard run. The Giants with a 10 0 lead. Joe Juravicious was monstrous in the first half. Seven catches for 90 yards, including the sparkling 32-yard play, which set up Morton Anderson's second field goal. The Giants led 13 to nothing at the half and never looked back. The game ended as it began, in prayer. A heartwarming 13-3 victory for Big Blue. You can talk about us and how we had to handle things and all that. that. That's about America. That was about USA. That's about all of us out there. We played a football game, and that was what that was all about. Other than that, everybody today, you felt the emotion on the field. I did, and I know my players did, and I'm sure their players did. Is fate on the Mets' side? Heading into today's game, the Amazons trailed Atlanta by only three and a half. In the top of the eighth, with the Mets leading two to one, the Braves threatened to score an Al Leiter. Brian Jordan hits one deep to left center, but Shinjo makes a terrific one-handed grab. Then he hits the cutoff man, Ray Ordonez, who nails Corey Aldridge at third for an inning-ending double play. Amazing. The Mets took a 4-1 lead into the ninth but Armando Benitez blew it. The Braves engineered three runs. Brian Jordan Keene the comeback with a two-run homer to left center field. And then in the 11th, Jordan does it again. A solo homer to left center off Gerard Riggin. The Braves stun the Mets five to four. Their lead is back to four and a half. Well, we are probably gonna lose a game or two before the season ended anyway, so um, we'll just get this one out of the way. Tough to win everyone, but we had you know, he looked like we had that one and two outs in the, in the ninth. Just couldn't get that third out. The Yankees in Baltimore, sixth inning. Cal Ripken off Orlando Hernandez. And that's a two-run homer to left. The O's with a 4 nothing lead. The Yankees came back to tie it up. Now in the 11th inning, Bernie Williams comes through with the bases loaded walk. The Yankees take the lead. They go on to win the ball game. 5-4 to four to snap a three-game losing streak. In San Diego, Barry Bonds continued his assault on Mark McGuire's home run record. In the second, he belts number 65, a solo shot off Jason Middlebrook. And then in the fourth, he makes it two for the money, number 66, another solo homer. Bonds is 10 games ahead of Big Max pace. The Giants beat the Padres 11-2. Preseason hockey, the Rangers beat the Flyers 2-1 to one. in the MLS playoffs. The Metro Stars and the Galaxy tied at one. It looks like Bonds might get it now. I think so. Thank you, Bruce.